Well, hello everyone. Good evening and thank you for joining me on this wonderful Sunday. Um, I had an awesome day, awesome church service. To those of you who are Christians like myself, I did have an awesome service. And um, today I'm just going to do a bit of a review on some uh, mini tape, running tape and two-sided tape and just um, those things that I have been using from the time I started doing um, card making. So um, I will share my reviews on a couple of those products and let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any suggestions, I am always open to suggestion. However, um, with that said, let's go ahead and continue. So here I have at least uh, four items that I have been using over at least a six months period. So I I have basically a working knowledge of um, how it works for me. Now, if you're doing, um, you know, just one card here, one card there, it doesn't matter. But if you're looking for something that's going to, you know, help you to keep your production up and going without having to stop and change and refill, then I will give you um, my honest opinion and reviews on a couple of items. First, to begin with, let's go with this one here. This is the crafters permanent tape it's a runner tape when you i think when you purchase it initially it comes in a packet of three i believe um i got it at walmart for like f about say five something say six dollars and this is what i started using i was quite fascinated with it at first because once you you know you have the it's new i mean the the tip runs really well and you know everything works out pretty good but what I have found with this one is when you get maybe halfway or you keep using it just, um, I don't know if say too much, I'm not sure if that's a good thing to say, but after a while, the tape doesn't run anymore. Like it doesn't, um, the, like the tip just stops sliding. So you find you end up still having tape inside of here and you cannot get it out or this runny piece here. I have found it to burst. Now right here, there is sticky. So that means there is still tape in there. Now what I've, um, right now, the sad thing is, I'm, I'm fighting for this to run right now, but it doesn't. So I've basically wasted a lot of money in those because by the time it gets maybe halfway or maybe three quarter, then this, the applicator stops um, producing the tape for you. So let me show you an example here. So right now there is sticky, um runner in here so i'm going to go and do this see if you notice it doesn't run completely like it it should i'm not sure if you can see that shiny piece and then after a while this is what it does so it stops feeding but then you know there is still tape in there that you could use so i will keep doing this i have actually wasted a lot a lot of money with this one so I would not invest in this. I mean, initially, if you just want something, you know, quick, I would say this would be, you know, an option. But um, I will no longer be using this. However, there is, I had one applicator left. And basically, once you do, once it stops, I think I have used out all my applicators. Because and this is my last one. And I've, ha I've bought two boxes of those. And I think halfway through, I've had to throw them out. So, you know, the neat thing about it is I could open it up. I can open it up so I can replace it. But then it still has tape in it. So I'm not sure um, why it's not running. But I think that's the downside to this one. So I'm really not going to be investing any more money in this. I will just use this out and it's out the door. So again, this would be the crafters tape or permanent runner tape. I guess that's what you would call it. Okay, so that's one. The next thing I decided to get was two-way tape. This I got from Walmart. It was at a good price and it came with about, I believe, five boxes, um, five or six boxes like this. It's double-sided tape. Now, um, I think this one is really time consuming, to be honest. 
um, if you're doing you know you're making several cards or even just one card it's just time consuming so I have those here I'm not sure how I'm going to use them up but I guess I'll find a way too so let me show you what I mean so right now this is um here this is the scotch tape double-sided tape permanent so what I end up doing with the applicator then you do you run like this depending on the length then you have to like kind of um, angle it and get it where you need it and you know so it's kind of just time consuming if you know if you want to you know mat this onto a card base then you're gonna have to pull and lay it down so it doesn't have any lumps or bumps so it would sit smoothly so this hair was I would not say it was an awesome investment on my part I guess I was looking for something you know that I thought was going to be um to my advantage but I still do have I believe let's see I have five of those boxes still left and that was the sixth one and I've had that for more than six months and I hardly use it so I would not recommend this for card making simply because it's time consuming and you'll have to be you know cutting and sticking and making sure it doesn't get messed up and of course it's not going to be worth your while if you want to achieve a certain amount of um, cards in a short time frame so this is definitely a no-no then i have this little runny here i forgot where i got this one but this is supposed to be double-sided tape now it's thin it's convenient it's nice and you could run it so let's see i tried this one too so i went ahead and i run it so say i run it uh, see that's the other thing if you're not careful then you kind of don't get it to sit properly so i run this here and i'm going to get my scissors and i'm going to cut let me show you the issue that i'm having with this one again i think it's time consuming because now you're going to have to try to get this to unstick so you can even get it to stick so sometimes you get it sometimes you don't so just think about this you sit in here trying to get the tip of this and you're trying to make several cards because you're on a time crunch yes this is nice and it's you know convenient but again it's time consuming so now i have this piece here i mean i'm not going to stick anything but i'm just showing you that even if i just run Sometimes I don't always get to separate the edges so that I can get I can pull the tape off So that can be time-consuming. So again, this is something I just use Once in a while is not something I really you know um, I don't know when last I used it to be honest. So this in itself to me also is time-consuming and Unless it's some way you can get it to peel off quickly enough I would not invest in this but this is like just a runner tape I just I threw the box out so I cannot remember what it was but that's my take on this so so far we have two time-consuming options for card making which I will not recommend this is definitely don't waste your time buying this because I have no idea why I chose to buy it but I guess I was fascinated by the price and it was double-sided. And I guess I thought it was something different. But now I have a white elephant and I'm going to have to figure out how to use it. And of course, this is another one here that I have used. And I found it just so time-consuming trying to get the tape from on here. So again, I wouldn't use that. And of course, like this crafter's one, I definitely will not be buying anymore because it is... A waste of money and you lose a lot of the runner tape because the feeder starts to malfunction so this was not the best investment either finally I have recollections this is a tape runner it comes with I can't remember how much but it does come with them um, several um, I guess yards or I'm not sure what it is when it comes to measurements but this I found to be the best one for me because one it runs a lot smoother so let me show you so there's this cap on here you take off oh, 
well i'm sorry i'm just having a moment but i usually take it off pretty easy i'm not sure what's going on tonight okay maybe it's camera shy okay so look at the difference so i have my paper here and then i'm going to see look at this there you go so i'm just going to run it all see it's it fits so easily and so conveniently and i just find this to be the best investment that i have done based on what i need to you know lay my card bases on my on my card base um you know my card pieces sorry on my card base so i would recommend this one any one of those um jumbo tip applicators i believe should be okay but for me since i have done recollections i know this one does work i've been using it for over three months i'm not disappointed and it can give you just a nice smooth um run so here you have it guys so this is my recommendation um on those products that i have reviewed again this would be the crafters um runner and refill which i would not recommend because it's doesn't um is not with the money this would be double-sided tape with well i guess this is the applicator that it came with that i would not even look at this it, it's okay if you can find a way to peel off that thing really quickly and of course to be able to apply it the way you want it so you know i would say jumbo person here is the winner out of all three so with that said thank you so very much for watching i do appreciate your patience with me and um once again if you have any comments or suggestions please feel free to leave a comment or just um any other products that you would want to find out if i have used or have any suggestions on i will be happy to um let you know what i think or if i haven't i'll be honest i'll let you know i haven't used that product but i'll be more than happy to try it out and let you know what happens so again give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, video and i do wish everyone an awesome week i know so those of us who have full-time jobs have to get going but do enjoy your week be safe and have an awesome rest of the evening. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.